Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this uh, Gates Reclamation deck. Definitely a bit of a different one, so I do recommend you check out part one uh, where we kind of go over the deck in detail. You can see all 30 lands that we have in this deck. Um, I will say, if you watched that first video, I misplayed quite a bit. Uh, in fact, it, it was kind of cringeworthy, so I do apologize, but uh, hopefully we can kind of move past that into a little bit of a better play pattern here. So uh, we will try this hand out. We do have a turn three Uro, which for this deck is a little rare. Uh, we've got so many gates that it's a little bit difficult to get things down on curve. Uh, a lot of time it's a little a lot of times it's a little tricky, uh, but we'll see what we can do. Um, Storm's Wrath hopefully going to keep us alive, depending on what the opponent's doing. Um, what's great about Storm's Wrath is the fact that it hits creatures and, and planeswalkers means it's it's very relevant in a lot of different matchups. Even in a control matchup, uh, while it's not perfect, obviously, uh, and it's not going to necessarily get the value that you would normally get, it's still going to hit things like maybe a Teferi uh, or you know something like that, which is very, very good. So... Uh, let's go ahead and we'll lead on the uh, guild gates here uh, for the first part of this. Uh, another untapped land, actually pretty helpful. So uh, we do eventually want to get some more gates, though, obviously. So interesting. Okay, well, that's going to be very annoying to deal with, but we'll we'll find a way. Um, that's pretty good. Uh. Let's just Uro here first. I think that's a better option. Go ahead and play the guild gate. Might have been better to hold on to that just so we could capitalize on the guild summit a little bit better, but we'll we'll see. Uh, depending on what they do this turn, you know, we'll probably gonna just Storm's Wrath here, uh, to be honest. That's an annoying enough problem that, uh, well, maybe not actually, hmm. I'm debating. Uh, let's take the opportunity and do this first. Uh, we will tap one. Okay, it's pretty good. Um, and let's just drop this. Uh, we're gonna take a turn. We're gonna get hit for a little bit here, I'm imagining, um, and that's kind of okay. But I think we're gonna be able to capitalize a little bit better on some stuff. Uh, the Royal Scion's very annoying though, we do have to to deal with that pretty efficiently here. Um, but they're going to deal three and then get two one ones, which means we're going to get a little extra value out of this. Um, okay, so... I mean, we know we're going to do this, right? Mm. Or do we wait? Uh, it's tricky because I kind of want to wait till we can kill this uh, first. But these are all annoying enough cards that I'd like to just get them off of the field. So let's let's do this. Um, it's going to give us a bit more time. Let's draw, or excuse me, gain a little bit of life here. Um, we can always Storm's Wrath this upcoming turn as well, uh, which I think we might actually do just to get rid of these two one ones as well as the Scions, uh, just to get rid of their repeated card draw engine. Uh, that is pretty important. Um, and now, of course, we get to do that while also playing, like, a Gatebreaker Ram, uh, which is definitely a pretty big card for them to deal with, given our current, you know, board. Uh, we do get to power this thing up a good bit, so we'll see. Um, sure. They get two one ones out of that. That's a very good card in this, this deck, for sure, the uh, Thrill of Possibility, because uh, it just means on your turn, or your opponent's turn, excuse me, you get to always trigger okay um let's drop this draw a card we'll play wilderness wreck obviously uh and we'll attack in we are kind of in a race uh at this point um unfortunately niv mizzet makes it a little bit tricky but we will see what we can do uh it looks like they might be able to kill the ram that would be kind of bad I'd be surprised if they'd be able to kill the ram. I mean, maybe they can. I don't know. Uh, it seems a little... 
a little extensive. Uh, let's do this. Let's play another ram. I guess play another wilderness wreck. Um, and we'll attack in. So the only like saving grace in all this is we do have two very lethal threats next turn, but um, they have obviously if they've got to if they've got some card draw, we're in a bad position. So we do have to be very careful. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering what they were doing there. Um, we do get to gain a little bit of life here, which is quite nice. Oh, okay. Hey, we got a win. We didn't lose. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you can see just how powerful that Gatebreaker Ram can be, uh, given that situation. That wasn't even, like, truly a powered-up Gatebreaker Ram. I mean, it was a 7-7, seven, seven, which is not bad, but obviously not as powerful as it could be. So, we finally got a win. Uh, we didn't do it the cool way with Wilderness Wreck, but we still got there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, and let's see. Hopefully, we can get one or two more. That'd be really, really nice. Um, to contrast that first video where we just didn't win any. Um uh do we keep Blech. okay first things first our frame rates are garbage so i'm gonna dip out really quick um let's see if we can get some better frame rates our our network i mentioned it in the first video our network this morning has been quite bogged down uh not exactly sure why um to be honest but it is what it is um we'll jump back in uh, also want to mention, and again, I talked about this in the first video, uh, tomorrow we have the opportunity to do kind of a vlog style video a little bit. It's, it's different than our normal stuff. It's not necessarily magic related. Uh, but I just wanted to bring that up for you guys to see what your thoughts were on this. Um, how are our frames doing? Eh, they're okay. Not great. I guess we'll try it. We're at, uh, we're, we're back up at 30. We're doing all right. Um, I'm actually going to play this first. <clears throat> Um, I think this deck could benefit from some interaction, which is what the normal Wilderness Wreck decks are doing. Um, the Gates decks, not necessarily. The Gate decks are really just trying to, like, pump out some strong stuff really quick, uh, which is very, very good, but, um, Storm's Wrath is going to be very convenient here. Uh, let's drop this. Let's just drop the Guild Summit. Uh, let's go ahead and get this online. That way we're we're valuing all of our spells or all of our lands, excuse me, a little bit more. Um, next turn we can play the ram. We are missing our double red here, which is pretty crucial. Uh, we can circuitous route at some point, but obviously we really, really want to get that as soon as we can, just so we're mitigating a lot of the damage that might might be done with this cruel celebrant. That's annoying, actually. Uh, that's very annoying. Sure. Yep. If we draw a red source, that could cost them. Uh, well, it actually maybe not, because they're. I'm willing to bet they're not going to bring it back yet. Did not draw a red source. Well, that's annoying. Uh, let's drop this. Let's draw our card. Well, there's our red source. Um, let's go ahead and play the ram here. At least this is going to stave off a few attackers. Um, a Johnny's Pride Mate, probably not so much, but uh, at least it's something. Yep. Definitely an annoying deck, this one. Uh, these Sacrifice decks, man, they are everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Uh, they're very, very good. They've been everywhere for a while. This isn't like a surprise, but my goodness. Just very frustrating. And so we're getting to the point now where it's almost detrimental to sweep uh, because of how much damage we're going to end up taking. Um, and this is it. This is the problem. And we just lose. Yeah, well done, opponent. All right. Man, that was just a handily... Uh, they just very easily took over that game, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and jump into our last game with this deck. Um, unfortunately, only one win so far out of five games, which feels pretty bad. But we'll see. Maybe we can get one more. Um, 
And we'll, of course, summarize our thoughts on the deck uh, once we get through this. Um, I do want to, and again, I, I mentioned all of these things, I guess, in the first video, but uh, I do want to test this deck out against, um, or excuse me, uh, compare it uh, a bit more to the uh, regular Gates deck, the one that is not necessarily trying to go off with Wilderness Reclamation, uh, and just kind of see how it fares. Um, not sure uh, which is going to be better. The other one, probably a bit more consistent. Uh, but, you know, just for curiosity's sake, I think it's fun to be able to try a couple different versions of decks and pair them up against each other. Um, we've obviously played the Wilderness Reclamation deck, and it's pretty good, uh, not gonna lie. It's a very solid deck, so, uh, I think I would prefer that over this for consistency's sake. Uh, it's got a little more interaction, it's a little bit, um, a little bit of a cleaner win. Um, this one kind of trying to do a couple different things. And I, I've, so this kind of leads into a bigger discussion, which is uh, in deck building, something that's really, really important to keep in mind is that it's not always great to do a lot of different things. Uh, it's great to be able to like have outs to different things. Um, and this is this was actually really well demonstrated with the Esper humans list that we tried out the other day. Um, you know, it's great to always have an out, but a lot of times in those decks, because they're less consistent, you find yourself digging for the out instead of digging for your win. And that's not really great. Um, ideally, you'd like to be able to just, you know, win, uh, which is really key. Uh, we're going to take this opportunity in Storm's Wrath here. Um, and so it's very important that, like, when you're deck building, you consider what you're trying to do and very much focus on that. Now, I'm not saying you have to be completely all in, don't get me wrong, um, but consistency is really what makes a deck great. Uh, uh, it's good to be able to do a lot of different stuff, but to be truly a powerful deck and something to be reckoned with, it's very important to be able to just, you know, kind of consistently play out a bunch of stuff and get there, because uh, that's not always the case, so. Uh, let's do this. This just is going to gain us a little bit of life because we kind of need to. Um, we'll put a guild gate down. Um, we'll put the other guild gate down. That was weird. Um, so next turn we can play Forest, Uro, and Circuitous Route if we'd like. Uh, or, you know, Expansion, Explosion, something if we need to. Oh, that's pretty good. Gates of Blues would be pretty killer right now. It's not a Gates of Blaze. Um, let's Uro again. <laughs> do we circuit this route or do we guild summit? I kind of think we guild summit. Um, I'm going to tap one here. Ooh, killing it. Um, chances are we're a little too far behind at this point, but we'll see. That's definitely an annoying card. Gates of Blaze is like our big out here for sure. Got a plus one, plus one. Okay. Gates of Blaze. Gates of Blaze. That's not it. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Get a couple gates here. Draw a couple cards. Give us a Gates of Blaze. Come on. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, so we just don't get there, right? We just lose. We can circuitous route again, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Um, man. So unfortunate. So unfortunate. Uh, yep. Doesn't matter. All right. Well, that's it. Man. Okay. So to sum up this deck... Um, what are my summary, summary thoughts on this one? This is an interesting one. Uh, I don't think the deck is all that good, uh, to be very frank. Um, obviously, we didn't get but one win, and I'm not. a lot of that was due to me, not the deck. So I just want to be very clear that, especially in that first video, um, I played very incorrectly. Um, I don't think we had too many like ma massive misplays this time. Um, that being said, I'm sure there's always something, so don't... Don't uh, misunderstand me when I say that, but uh, I do think that, generally speaking, this deck is much more inconsistent 
and, and and I'm comparing it to the original Wilderness Reclamation deck, uh, I think it's much less consistent than that deck, uh, which is obviously a problem when you're trying to consistently win a game. So uh, my initial thought is this is not as good. Uh, it's very cheap to make, I will say that. Um, uh, let's let's actually look really quickly. Uh, I don't think it's a too it's too crazy of a deck to actually make, right? Like uncommon, uncommon, rare, rare, uh, uncommon, mythics. So we do have a couple, and then a lot of uncommons, and then literally just gates. So like, uh, if you're in the if you've got like tons of you know common and uncommon wild cards, the gate deck is not a bad way to start. Uh, whether it's this one or the actual you know original kind of gate deck. Um, oh, this is spelled wrong too. That's fine. I spell wrong like all the time. Um, but my thoughts are it's just not good enough. It's not consistent enough. Uh, I, I pulled this list because, uh, in play testing it, we were kind of 50, 50 on wins and I was like, oh, okay. Like that's fine. Um, it's not amazing. And I only play tested a few games. So that's definitely part of it. But like, you know, it's a different take on the Gates deck. It's combining something that I think is very, very good right now, which is the Wilderness Reclamation deck with a Gates deck, which is just kind of a cool concept. It's a it's a interesting concept at the very least. And so I thought it'd be fun to try it. Um, unfortunately, it didn't get there. I don't have high hopes for this one just in general. Uh, but do recommend, you know, if you're if you've got the gate stacks uh, already built and you want to try something a little bit different, maybe this is a good one to just kind of try out. Um, try playing with the the land count and things like that as well. I mean, this has 30 lands. That's half the deck. That is a lot of lands. Um, so maybe that's part of the problem. I, I don't know. But uh, regardless, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for putting up with all the misplays in that first video in particular. Uh, and I do hope you enjoyed this one, despite not winning too many games on this. But I uh, really do appreciate it. And I will see you hopefully very, very soon in the next gameplay video. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.